Hello. Um, quite a few people have been in touch over the last couple of weeks after the last video I did which showed us how to host this virtual tour to my website and a lot of people said they were struggling which was great I know I did and then quite a few people have been asking me about can you host to Amazon AWS from Theasis well yes you can it's it's really easy to do so what I thought I would do would be I would just do a very very quick video for you just to have a look so this is one of the Theasis tours which is held on my website on my server which is under client tours apex living so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use this tour this is the one we did last week for six which is a new bar that's open near me and it looked quite nice and it would be nice to be able to host this because i think it'll get a lot of traffic and that way we can cut back on our own website traffic so this is how we do it so what you would do is you'll go into your virtual tour options and we're going to pick on six and what we're going to do is we're going to download it so what we would do is we would click on the download action here at the moment the theme we get is theasis but what we do is we give this a name so we'll call it six peer point now the name part of it doesn't show up you'll print a google maps key if you want to um, i don't particularly want to um, and then there'd be a charge of 10 pound unless you're on the pro copy if you're on the pro copy the price is zero and then you would just press proceed you'll get this that'll show and it'll say we're preparing your file for download it usually takes five to ten minutes when we're ready we'll let you know by email it doesn't take five to ten minutes but you'll see this little icon is ticking so rather than us sitting here waiting i'm just gonna pause our screen record and come back okay and through the miracle of editing less than two minutes later we've got a download link so all we do is press the download link and that will download our zip file so less than two minutes later our virtual tour is downloaded and we're left with a zip file so what we're going to do is very very quickly just extract this i've set up a folder there called six theasses so i'm just going to extract it to there uh, tony redhead's done a fabulous how to set up amazon s3 for virtual tours which i'll link in the description which is um, i think great but what we're going to do is we're just going to go through amazon s3 if you're not sure on how to use amazon s3 tony will talk you through so the first thing you need to do is get started sign up when you've set up you come into this page and you would sign into the console and what we're going to do is we're going to create an s3 and the first thing we're asked to do is create a bucket so we're going to call it six peer point and we're going to select a region i live in the uk so we're going to create eu london and we can copy the sentence from an existing book that normally i would but i'm not going to for this one and we just press next on the next screen we just asked just click next and on this page where it says block all public access i always untick that at the top we've got to acknowledge that we're unblocking and we click yes create bucket and we can see that six peer point is here as a bucket that we've created which is great so if we click in the middle the first thing we need to do is go into the properties page and what we're going to do is change it to a static web hosting and it uses an index.html so we type in index.html and press save next thing we're, doing, we're going to do is go to access control list and then bucket policy so if we go into the bucket policy tony's created a copy and paste for you if you scroll down a little bit which is here i normally just set one up from the other side but what we can do is we'll just press copy and paste and it'll ask you to use the name that you were putting in there so where tony has got his text there i know mine is set up to be six peer point so instead of having 360 panels tony's got six peer point and then we press save say this book has got public access we just press save so if we nip back to tony's instructional notification which is great you can see set the location we've done that um 
we've created a bucket we've gone through we've got the name um, we've done static web hosting we've put that information in um, then what we do is we go back to permissions so if we go back to permissions you can see what Tony says is if you click on edit and what you're going to do is make sure that all of the public uh, permissions are available just as Tony says what we want to do is we're going to go through permissions so you're going to go to permissions and then he's telling you to go to public access settings well we've already done them it's got block public access we're not blocking public access we're allowing public access um, when we edit it it'll say do you want to block no we press save and we type in there confirm which we've done scroll down a little bit for Amazon control list so we're going to access control list who's got access everyone we need the list objects and we need to press save and we can say that everyone now has access to our page which is brilliant and now we come into the bucket policy bit that I've probably jumped ahead on I've got my bucket policy in there which I'm going to press save and that'll tell me that the bucket is set up for public listings which is great so then if we go back to Amazon S3 our six power peer point is set for public that's it we're pretty much ready to upload our images now or upload our tour I'll click that and do that and it'll say here upload I'm going to quickly go back to six theasis which has got my information normally I wouldn't put the readme in but we'll just put everything in and we're going to drag that into there it'll give us all of our files we just press upload and you can see by looking at the bottom it's uploading quite quickly but what I'm going to do is again I'm just going to pause this just until we upload otherwise the video will be huge and we're uploaded while we're on this page what we need to do is go to the index page and we need to copy the object URL so we copy that link address and then we're going to go back to PeerPoint and what I want to do is I want to download the config file so it'll say here download yes you'll see it'll download it'll always ask you if you want to keep this file because it can be harmful it's just because it's a config file then show in folder and edit and what we're going to do is in this line of code here what we're going to do is we're going to paste what I've just copied however we don't need the index.html so we delete that off and that'll be our website address or our virtual tour address then all we're going to do is press save close that off back to the browser we're going to upload back to our download folder drag and drop and upload back to index click on that page you'll see this will take us straight into the Amazon server once we pre press play do we want to enable audio yes I don't have speakers set up so that virtual tour which is hosted on Theasis is now hosted on Amazon exactly the same tour so if you want to self-host your own tours you can just remember one thing though want to turn the music off when you're talking and um, just remember one thing if you do any local edits to this virtual tour if it's hosted on Theasis it's easier because it's just an instantaneous copy just remember that every time you do this you're going to have to download the tour and then re-upload it to Amazon but the process itself is very very simple I'll put the link to Tony's article in the bottom if you have any problem um, the guys at, um, at Theasis as you know will come back to you straight away I had a real problem setting this up 
originally I couldn't get my head around it it's just because I finally kind of sussed how to start hosting my own stuff um, why do I do it? Um, I host onto my website as I've said here and the reason I do that is because I'm, I'm a bit of a control freak but more importantly it's an extra sell to the customers I can offer them hope that makes sense to you if you get stuck come back to me as usual keep smiling